Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha Mashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo. Today is the 19th of September 2024. And um, I'm going to do a little technical analysis on the market. I haven't traded for the, for the entire week. Trying to practice my discipline and stay out of the market um, with the Fed funds rate being released yesterday. Um, we had market rollover. It's market rollover week, rolling over to the new contract. And also, we got um, options exp expiration on Friday, right? So, just basically staying out of the market. So, um, let's see, I'm gonna do a little technical analysis and try and keep my mind occupied and probably try and stay out of the market a little bit, right? So, I see um, I have this music in the background I hope it's not too loud the way I have it now I think it's all right let me just slow it down a little bit I think that should be all right though all right so in the bond market here we have municipal bonds um, that's the ticker right there MUB it's a muni bond etf right so yesterday we had this pop-up and um, we're looking kind of toppy right now we have this um this shooting star candle right um basically more than two thirds i would say 75 percent of the candle was retraced and we ended up somewhere around 108.54 right so that's where we closed yesterday um, let's see if we get any pre-market levels on on this. Let's go down to the five-minute chart and see what we got. All right, I don't really see any pre-market levels. I don't think you get pre-market in in this um, this ETF. I'm not seeing anything right now that says pre-market on the side there. So. As you can see, we, we popped up on the five minute chart. We popped up here. We got all the way to floor pivot R4. So a huge move after the um, Fed funds release, the 50 basis points cut. Um, we had a big, big move to the upside and a complete retracement, right? So we came back down to the volume points of control and also the POC from the market profile, right? So let me just take this off real quick. Taking off the market profile right there. That's the volume profile and now taking off the volume profile and putting the market profile back on so that's the poc right there and the volume point of control right so we basically reverted to the mean yesterday um, let's see here all right let's go down to the one hour chart on the two year two year yield Right, so that had this had um, this was the the release candle, the news release, the 50 basis points, and then we had we basically came back to the mean. We had a nice um, reversal here after we we dipped down to around roughly 3.573 percent, and we closed the day. Actually, this is actually live, right? So this is no pre-market action. We have a big reversal here at. Um, is this live let's see here yes it is right so right now current price is at 3.619 percent right so we had this big push up here and now we're we're kind of pulling back into this candle here um, I have some moving averages here um, can't really get any volume on the yield so I can't use VWAP here but it's looking like this 200 SMA right here is this green line so we're kind of poking poking below that a little bit this is um, I believe this is the 21 moving average this copper line and this blue line here is the 50 moving average so we're right around these moving averages here on the two year we're getting a reversal um, it's basically holding up right um, same thing here on the 10 year the 5 year yield right 
same kind of price action but with this one here we're above the 200 SMA right so the 200 SMA is the green line right there that copper line right there is the 21 and um, no actually this copper line on this one here yeah it's the 21 this blue line down here is the 50 or the 100 and you know what let me go into this because I don't really use these SMAs too often so let me just go in here and I could show in inputs so SMA 1 21 SMA 2 52 SMA 3 is 104 SMA 4 is 150 and I believe SMA is 2 SMA 5 is 208 right so these are the ones I have highlighted so we have SMA 1 which is the yellow that's 21 SMA 2 is the copper which is 52 and SMA 3 is the blue line which is 104 and then we have SMA 5 which is the green at 208 so it's kind of doubled up right there from 21 to not just 50 but to 52 and then we go to 104 and then we go to 208 right so it's not flush 200 I'm just doubling it up a little bit all right so we're above the the SMAs on on the five year right so that's looking a little bullish looking more bullish than the two year let's see what else we got here and how much time we have before the open we have seven minutes so I'm gonna get to the ES and record some of the, the open as well so let's move along here a little bit and let's pull up the 10 year the 10 year is way above these moving averages as well so that's very bullish we have previous week's high getting a little pull back to the single print the single print right here is this um this pink line right here that's a single print right so we're pulling back we're getting buys off of the single print and this yellow line right here is Camarilla r4 on the weekly this is a bullish target weekly r1 at 3.802 right so these this 10 year yields is getting bought up right so that means that the 10 year um, bond is getting sold off i believe right don't quote me on that I'm not a CFA so just gathering knowledge um, listening to the gurus and stuff on YouTube and I think I need to buy some books um, I read Anna Coolin's book on um, the complete Forex guide and it gave a lot of information on bonds and, and um, what they mean in the market and their correlation to the ES and the S&P 500 so um, I think I need to take a little refresher's course on that and um, kind of polish up my knowledge and I think I need to add this SMA right here I think it's this one alright so added these SMAs um, pushed off of the 21 moving average right there the yellow line um, the 200 is down here um, the what is it again the 104 the 52 is here and the 104 is here as well so we pushed off um, we broke above weekly Camarilla R4 which is at roughly 4.131 percent and um, the first bullish target here is floor pivot R1 that's at 4.178 percent so possibly getting up there this week as well so that's the the 20 year right that's the 20 year yield right so that's what i have i have the two the five the 10 and the 20. Right? so yields pushing up bonds pulling back and that's the verdict on that right there let's see we're gonna go to gotta move on now because we're at 9 25 the market is all um, almost open so taking a look at the one hour chart on the US dollar so the US dollar is looking like yesterday looking like it was gonna break down 
we found some support buyers came back up to the weekly pivot level um, that blue line right there 12757 and then now we we broke down to floor pivot s2 and these are weekly levels right so it's kind of topsy-turvy here we we're still in a bearish kind of posture because we're we're down around these um s1 support levels right so s1 is at 12704 and again this is the dow jones fxcm dollar index so if you want to check that out do some research on that it's um better weighted is a it's a more proper weighting of foreign currencies against the us dollar the dixie is an outdated um weighting right so you can check that out do your research on that if you want um so right here is the weekly um vwap level right here it's looking like it wants to hold above that but um i don't really see well the selling volume is drying up which is looking good for buys above vwap so you see it just pushed back down there again to view up so let's do this let's um let's go to the five minute chart let me do a refresh here So we're at these um, ETH VWAP levels, I believe, yeah. So that's from the ETH and the London session. So they're kind of coupled together. You see two lines right there. So we're basically at VWAP on, on all levels, on all time frames, right? So looking to get buyers here at VWAP. We're also at the pivot level, the daily pivot central pivot zone. So we're in the meat of the market right here. Let's see if we get buyers to continue. We have buy, buying volume, but on the daily, you could see on the five minute chart, you could see that the buying volume is decreasing, right? Now, it's not too bad because these candles are decreasing as well compared to this candle. So volume is looking like it's in alignment. Um, I wanted to see probably some lower volume here on the pullback, but these, the, the selling volume is looking like it's sustaining the level of the buying volume. So not to show sure about the ABCD pattern here because you see now we're getting wicks and lower volume on the buying so we might get some retracement back to this volume point of control here so looking at the US dollar it still probably hasn't chosen a direction as yet but it is getting some support right so you can see we have some accumulation here at the volume point of control and we got this big buying coming in so it's up to them now, the buyers, to maintain that uh, bullish posture or the reversal posture from VWAP and push up to the upside, right? So yesterday's high is around Camarilla Archery at yesterday's high is 12.740, right? So what time is it? One minute to the open. So we can't really... Let's take a quick look at the yen. Alright, we have 30 seconds to go, so quick look at the yen the yen is pulling off of its highs um, see we open here this this week at Camarilla R3 weekly Camarilla R3 was roughly 7102 that red line right here and let me just use the arrows right so that red line Camarilla R3 we got the rejection pull back broke down view up that white line right there we broke down second upper deviation um, first upper deviation that um, neon green second upper deviation um t line and now we're at the third lower the third lower deviation so these are lower deviations my bad and these are support levels so if it's supposed to get support we're also at weekly floor pivot s1 at 6816 so we gotta get some bias here if it continues then we could possibly have a very bearish week and come down to floor pivot s4 Right, so the market is open now. Let's switch over to the ES and see what's going on over there. How this um, this market is opening. Right, and, and also welcome to my messy charts. So this here is the, this green line is the two year um, yield. Let me just take that off real quick. A little less confusion. Right, so 
these bands here is the initial my IB bands right so these are gonna be for 13 minutes so it's gonna establish the IB high IB low IB mid um, in a 30 minute range and 30 minute time frame and um, let me just point out what these VWAPs are that's VWAP right there that's VWAP right there and these VWAPs are from the red lines the upper deviations they're from the ETH open yesterday these total upper deviations are from the London session so we have first upper deviation second upper deviation third upper deviation from the red lines this is the first upper deviation second upper deviation and third upper deviation here right and so forth going down here you have these lower deviations right the support levels these lines with these numbers here are accumulation and distribution lines and they increase every time you get like a resistance tap and a pullback so that's two resistance four resistance taps and then the green is the support taps right so it got two supports so you kind of judge accumulation and distribution from these levels these are quantum um quantum trading um indicators for accumulation and distribution and these are this is from anna cooling as well so if you want to check that out that's um, quantumtrading.com and i really like anna cooling's um indicators i've got the whole suite so all of this here these um this is the vrsi volume relative strength indicator and this is the tick volumes and this is not hers this is a atr right but she's um, big on VPA, so I really trust her um, her development of these um, indicators because I know she's gonna have the programmers instill her wisdom into creating these uh, these indicators. So, and also these Viva bands are anchored Viva bands from her her suite, right? As well. So, she is Quantum Viva Pro, and this is anchored from. The 19th at 3 a.m. right so today at 3 a.m. these were anchored at 3 a.m. right so you see here we have a pullback we're pulling back off of R1 this is R1 here that copper line so let's make this a little bigger so that's R1 right there that's the the first bullish target for the day we have volume points of control here at um, roughly 57.73. We're getting a pullback down to this VWAP line right here. This is also an accumulation um, support level. So let's see if we get a pullback to VWAP. VWAP is curling up. This is a single print from the market profile. This could also get retested. And as you can see, there's heavy volume um, relative strength indicators showing a lot of selling pressure. The volume is showing a lot of selling pressure. The ATR is rising. So it's looking like we're getting a big follow through to the downside. Let's see if buyers are going to try and step in here. And I was discussing with, um, with one of my, um, one of my brethren from the premium tier futures discord. And if you want to check that out, you could just leave a comment in this video and I'll send you a link. It's free. You could jump in and um, we just discuss trades. We don't really call out trades or anything like that. We just discuss where we're jumping in and stuff. So it's not really a trade calling room, but we do discuss our ideas amongst ourselves, right? So it's good to have a community to trade with. Um, it kind of is it. To be in a community of like-minded people, it's always good to spark ideas when you discuss your trades and stuff like that. So let's see, we're back down here to VWAP and let's see which VWAP this is. If I highlight the VWAP, right, this is the London session. And um, let's see, this one here is the ETH session, right? Now, I also have these here that's developing right now. This is from the RT8 session open. Now, you can see these here, right? That's the third upper deviation, but they're still developing because we only have one five minute candle so far. So, that's VWAP right now. 
that's the first lower deviation second lower deviation third lower deviation so let's see if we get some some bias here at the second lower deviation we're coming back here we're tapping this accumulation support we have two taps so far let's see if we're gonna get another tap there and get some support Yeah, I was as I was saying, I was discussing with um with Gemini from Premium Tier Futures, and I was talking about a reversal, potential reversal of Bowling Green at yesterday's high. But um, my setup requires me to have a pivot level involved in this reversal, right? So this right here is Camaria R5. So that's not really my setup. My setups are around. Camaria R3 which is down here that's a golden pivot resistance zone so we already broke this resistance so as you can see here 5702 lining up with this red line that's um that's my Camaria R3 level and it's lining up with the floor pivot creating a golden pivot zone which is at uh, 5703.75 that's the central pivot and you could also see it's at previous week's high which is 5702.75 right vrsi is still increasing volume volume here though has dried up a little bit so you see vrsi is turning back to not so not so deep of a color so this is signifying this white is signifying an easing of the volume relative strength um, power right now to the downside so that volume pressure to the downside is drying up a little bit so you can see here the reversal is potentially taking place we have a wick to the downside pushing back above VWAP and this could be a, a potential setup I, I guess some people are probably taking this VWAP break breakout or support right well I can see a breakout right so we push down to this this third lower deviation here yeah, it's still moving around right still developing these VWAP bands from the RTH session open we basically got a bounce from the third lower deviation we're back up here above the second I mean the first lower deviation which is lining up with this VWAP at the moment so we're going off of this VWAP these VWAPs here still have to develop and we only have two volume bar I mean two bars right now, two five minute bars. So they won't be as reliable as, as these um, these VWAP bands right here. So at the open, still kind of relying on these um, London session and ETH session VWAP. So ETH session VWAP is down here, London session VWAP is here. So you could imagine that London has created this this volume um, weighted average price, right? So if London bulls are still gonna stay in the market, they have um, what is it, a one and a half before they close. If they wanna get higher prices, probably take it up to 57.96. Maybe they'll get some support from US. The US is looking like they're taking profit or or applying pressure on the sell side. Maybe that's London sellers selling out, taking profit on the, the US Open. So it's up to the US now to start buying, right? Because London already bought it up. So they brought it up to here, R157.76. So London did all of that. Now it's time for the US to start taking the ropes, right? They have to abs absorb some take take profit from the the london session so I, i'm assuming that these london guys are starting to take profit when the u.s guys are stepping into the market because they probably don't know what they are gonna do so if they already got to this bullish level uh what's the high here 57 79 25 they take their profit and then they wait to see if these um u.s players are gonna step in and push it even higher right And I hope uh, my audio audio isn't cracking up too much because I have I have a lot of windows open. I have um, 
I see I have bookmap running here as well. All right, so that's Bitcoin. Bitcoin is up at 63, well, Camarilla R4. It created a high up here as well. Let me see something. I'm supposed to have these levels here, highest price. I don't know if it's working properly though. getting these levels here the mid level and the highest level let's see if this is working I don't know I think I have to make some adjustments on that so yellow bands again is the the RT8 session open here see it's anchored it's basically the same um, lines on on the same colors on um, on Bitcoin and on Bookmap for the London session, the ETH session, and all that. Right. So this is London VWAP here on Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is up at um, Camaria R4 and Floor Pivot R2. Going back here over to Trade and View for the ES. So you see, we're getting these bands that are expanding. We're getting this this VWAP developing here. We're getting a push down VWAP. These third levy, third lower deviation is still pushing to the downside. Probably gonna collide with these lower de this lower deviation here and this ETH VWAP. So um, we didn't get any support at this this level here. So this didn't change to number three we didn't get a push up push up off of that so no support there coming down to yesterday's high 57 55 75 i guess this is a single print so we're gonna tap that single print pull that um, single print here from the overnight session vrsi is increasing but volume is, is naturally decreasing here in the, the ETH open. That's normal. You usually get the biggest volume at the open bar. So let's see what's happening here. Still the VRSI is pressing down. There's a lot of selling volume here in the market. Volume pressure. All right, so we're pushing through the single print at around 57.60. Right now the ID high range is from 57.79.25 to 57.58.25 so far. We got approximately yeah, 15 minutes to go to create the, the ID high and low. So that's the range so far. And this this purple um, purple background here is the first five minute bar right so it all it always signifies the first five minute bar range so if you want to play like a five minute open range breakout this is going to definitely show you where maybe you get a breakout and a retest of the five minute um, high or low depending on your breakout strategy or you this here could probably be like a, a short right here if you're using that kind of open range breakout kind of strategies you see we get that poking you could probably hit a short here you get a retest right here of the five minute bar right so you can see that range right there and then you're getting further movement to the downside right looking like we're gonna tap um eth vwap and this first lower deviation here from the london session 
this is where London is supposed to really step in if they want to support the market or support their, their bullish uh, bullish endeavors so far right so we're tapping that ETH VWAP so that's from the Asian session and the London session combined so let's see if we get bias there and this is Camarilla R5, so we're we're really pushing back down on this bullish um, these bullish resistance levels. This is Camarilla R4. No, this is Camarilla R6. My bad. This is Camarilla R5. This blue line. We had a prior resistance level. We had a prior um, support level here. And we had. Um, prior support level here as well with the accumulation distribution levels so we're running through we've been through this view up as well no sign of buying VRSI is still heavy um, volume drying up a little bit but still very solid bars are looking like they're in alignment with these um, these um, volume levels VRSI is looking like it's it's um so there's a little divergence here we're getting a little bind here and you see it's changing color signifying that the, the selling pressure is easing up so off of this VWAP we're getting bias here let's see if the combined ETH and London session VWAP right here is gonna get the bias and again this is the London session VWAP and this is the ETH VWAP from the Asian session going all the way to the RTH open so we tapped yesterday's high, tapped that view up. Looking like we're getting some buyers. And this is the setup I was talking about where's the bowling green strategy. I was discussing that with um, Eli from the premium tier futures, but I decided to stay out of the market anyway. So let's see if we get the, this reversal here. I was thinking about a yesterday's high reversal because it's within my strategy this is the second lower deviation take a buy here above the first um, lower deviation I do have a pivot level but that's not within my strategy this is way up here at um, Camarilla R6 so let's see if they get bias here so this setup would be something like this To take a long position here try and target back up to IB high and the stop is supposed to be about 4 and I could probably take a paper trade here so let me see So I'm setting a buy alert right there. A buy limit, sorry, not buy alert. And um, let's see, I could also set, set the, the stop right there. So that's gonna be a paper trade. Let's see if we're gonna get back up to the IB high and possibly further up. Let's see if we get the reversal here. So this is my bowl and green strategy setup. But this doesn't have the criteria. This is usually at um, Camarilla S3 or the central pivot, right? So you see we're getting a rejection here for the development. So within the strategy, I look for an, for an accumulation between minus one and minus two VWAP, right? So right now we're having, we're having that accumulation here, right? We had the buyers come in. We're still we're still not breaking out, breaking out from there, but we still could get a bounce, start moving sideways in between these levels, and then possibly get the breakout here, which would be the entry here. Now, within the strategy, I would have to start moving down, moving down my entry with the VWAP, right? This first lower deviation, I would have to start moving down the entry to this, these levels here. So, align with the breakout of minus one right? 
and it's still it's not materializing right so we're still accumulating between these levels and breaking down from that so still a lot of selling pressure no reversal in sight right low volume on this selling though right so that's significant gotta watch out for the volume volume is not in alignment with this candle we're not seeing increased volume so far so this could be like a little stop run shake out let's see if it's gonna gonna reverse here or eventually reverse it doesn't really have to happen immediately all right so bring us down The VRSI is increasing again, so we have the, the volatile, volume relative strength indicator increasing, but the tick volume is slowly, slowly moving up. It's not really in alignment with this candle right now. So let's see if volume is going to come back in. This, this um, range here of this candle is the biggest so far since the open. Right, so we've surpassed the open in this range and you can see the volume isn't even halfway there from the open um, candle. So what that means to me is, is prob it's probably like stop runs here at this moment. It's not real selling. It could be a stop run. So that's when you get this little kind of shake out. And from a Wyckoff theory perspective, this could be it's a it's a small downtrend on a five-minute um, chart, right? But we could be getting preliminary stop here. We could get the selling climax here, and then we start accumulating and get the automatic rally, right? So a lot of times, this Bowling Green strategy incorporates the selling climax turning into the automatic rally. And that's how I um, enter at plus, at minus one VWAP, right? So I probably have to, let's see, probably have to move down my entry as well because this VWAP band is moving down a little bit. Let's see, let's tap it. Alright, so you see that's where it is right now. So. So the entry got to be roughly around that level right there. And it's still probably accumulating bet between this minus one and minus two VWAPs from the RTA session. But we are breaking these major VWAP bands as well. So that's not really good for the reversal. And as well, this, this VWAP band, we probably have to reclaim that from the ETH. See, I'm highlighting it right now, right? So once we get above that, then we can start thinking about the, the Bowling Green setup materializing. So let's see if we get that. So it'll be a combination push back above the VWAP, ETH VWAP and minus one VWAP. The volume has, has risen up to justify this candle so far it still needs to me to me it still needed more than that to justify this candle so right here I'm in the bowl and green reversal right just entered here let's see if it's gonna push to the upside so I'm gonna remove this long setup here right so this is a paper trade again this is not um, a trading recommendation see here some of my view ups always need refreshing sometimes all right so reversal working so far all right we have low volume on the pull on the, the reversal that's not too good could be just like a short squeeze The 
this is a good sign. We have the VRSI um, showing that the selling pressure is, is decreasing. I still want to see some volume to the upside, some buying volume though. So now we're going to get a retest of this first lower deviation. Well, maybe not. This is um, RTH VWAP now. This is London Session VWAP. So we got to see some nice buying pushing through these levels to head back to the upside. This is first um, resistance here from the VWAP. First upper deviation, second upper deviation, and then third upper deviation. So second upper deviation is lining up with this the some um, accumulation distribution resistance and flow pivot r1 right so let's see if we're gonna get back up to these levels and we're at 40 minutes right now so let's see it's 9 57 we're gonna set the ib ib high range ib high and ib low soon probably in yeah in three minutes I'm not getting my volume coming in so this right now so far is just a little short squeeze I guess we had some buyers coming in here right so from the Wyckoff theory this is the preliminary stop selling climax and now we should create the automatic rally and I didn't take this trade as a as a um, as a real trade because I decided to exercise discipline this week and not trade during the contract rollover, the Fed funds rate and the um, options expiration all happening in the same week, right? Still not really seeing the volume here, still short squeezing, aka not real buying, just covering. Maybe real buyers would step in here at VWAP. This was a nice strong push into um, RTH VWAP. Now we gotta attack London VWAP, see if there's any sellers there to reinforce their um, selling. But I think they probably, they stopped selling here and started to cover around this candle. So we have the Bowling Green in action. We get a nice buying pushing through this level so far still not impressed by the volume but it's getting there Taking a look at Bitcoin here, Bitcoin is pushing back above. So let's see. This is a potential bowling green strategy here as well, but we didn't really get to Camarilla Archery. You see it's down here, right? At 62490. So that's basically I could this is like a B minus setup as well. The the pivot level is somewhat in the range, right? So we have minus two VWAP. We have minus one view up the entry. Not much volume on the entry. Looking for big volume going through view up. Not much um, volume going through view up as well. But it is moving. And this would be our first target here plus one view up. And second target plus two view ups. Right? So coming back up to Camarilla R4. But I was busy over here on trade and view. I didn't really see this to take this setup right here. But that's another bowling green strategy right there. All right, so this this bowling green here is working out nicely. Um, let's see, is, is this working properly? My my IB. So this is my IB low so far down here at 57.48.25 aren't I supposed to be seeing anywhere
I think it's safe right now to break even this trade. And usually my setups are if we go 6 points in profit, then I move to 2 points in profit. So, so far we've gotten to 10 points, right? So I can definitely move my stop now to 6 points in profit, right? Because I think that's how my trailing stop works. Let's see, it's roughly going to be around here. So we don't give back too much. Let's see here. Yeah. From here to here is six points. So six points would be secure and just below VWAP. So we're gonna put our stop right there just below VWAP. Try and secure um, six points in profit. We already got up to 10 points in profit, which is, is a good target. I could have stopped out right there. Right, so right now I'm out of that, that trade. And this here, we all we got a rejection at um, first upper deviation, which is up at 11.25. We got up to 10.50. So, in a real trading scenario, I could possibly exit the trade right here at um, 10 points, right? Because 10 points is like my my rough target on these trades. So, right now, if we get like a retest of this level. Let me do this. Right, so for me to enter this trade again, set a buy limit at the first lower deviation and see how that setup works. And that again should target um, second upper deviation and around the holding point of control so most likely it's not gonna it's not gonna pull back all the way and I would have to use my discretion whether I wanted to secure those six points or I wanted to exit at 10 or if I wanted to catch the, the whole automatic rally and get back up to the second upper deviation and third upper deviation but I chose to secure the six points and got stopped out there. So VRSI just showing basically there's a, there's a drying up of the selling pressure. Basically it's a short squeeze. When it flips to blue, that's real buying, that's buying pressure. Right now it's just short squeezing. The volume is, is relatively moderate. Um, so all of this is indicative of like um, short squeezing, right? So we had buying volume here. This was on the preliminary stop. This first, um, let's say doji hammerish candle. Right. Then we had the selling climax. The VRSI was pushing down the strongest, not the strongest volume. That was the opening bar. And that's how we got that reversal, right? Took that reversal long right there. And caught six points out of that. And there is no pullback here to minus one VWAP. It's staying strong. So in these cases most likely you get the retest of VWAP not all the way down here. So probably no entries again on this on this setup. And it's 1005, right? So Let's see, this video is 49, 50 minutes long so far, so... Alright, so that's my, my IB has been set. The IB low, 30 minute IB range is... The low is 57.48.25. The high is 57.79.25. So we got to break out of the IB high. If we want to continue um, in this trend day environment, um, bullish trend. So... It's looking good for the reversal so far. The volume is okay. 
Um, we gotta get some real buyers though. All of this is basically just short covering at the moment. All right, so that was my demonstration today. Um, paper trading, my Bowling Green strategy. I talked you through how I um, execute this strategy, how I manage it, and um, could have gotten more out of this. I took my eyes off of it um, earlier. Could have captured the 10 points here up at um, first upper deviation. But um, by the time I looked and started managing the trade, got stopped out here at six points. And so we secured six points on the day, right? Usually my target on a normal day is 10 points, right? So the, re the reason why I move my stop up is I set up a trailing stop um, in Ninja Trader, where if we move six points into profit, my stop moves two points above my entry so i secure two points above my entry when we push up further to 10 points my stop then moves to about six points in profit and actually i think it moves to eight points in profit so i give it two points wiggle room right so in this this uh, manual management here i actually give back more than than um, i would usually give back right so my trailing stop would probably push me up to eight points when we hit 10 points and then i would probably secure more secure eight points instead of um instead of six points here so let's see how that would have worked out right that would have been so 10 points would have been here right and you can see it lines up with this first upper deviation here right so that would have been the target so as soon as we hit that I would have pushed up here to eight points so let's let's go over here grab another one of these and where is eight points right so I would have secured <clears throat> secured eight points here at 57.66 that that's how my trailing stop is um, is automatically um, setup right that's my trade management so not really giving back too much the stop gets tighter at 10 points and i would have stopped out here right so this would be the target and this would have lined up really nice here because i think i have a take profit set at 10 points so i might have captured the exact 10 points right here right because there's not a, a open um, take profit the take profit is set at 10 points right Alright y'all, so it's Malak Shalomo, demonstrated my Bowling Green strategy, did some manual management, secured the 6 points, um, got the reversal here, the breakout above um, minus 1 VWAP, that's that yellow line right there, and let's take this off right now, I'm not willing to enter, wait hold on, what are you doing? not willing to re-enter right there for a Bowling Green. To me it's looking a little weak, um, we're pushing up at this um, plus one VWAP and VPOC and we're not getting buyers to continue, we're retesting VWAP, um, selling pressure, coming back in, there was never no, there was never any um, bullish VRSI right here, all selling pressure, a little short squeezing, ease up on the VRSI but no real bullish um, VRSI right here. Right, so volume relative strength indicator. Let me just go over here. Right, so that's the indicator right there from quantum, quantum trading, and that's from Anna Coolin. That's the queen of VPA volume price analysis. So I really trust her, her, um, her programmers to write this the way that it should be written to kind of. Um, gauge this volume right so aside from the tick volume this is the vrsi volume relative strength indicator so as you can see it's it's working it, it depends on how you can read it how you read it right so i believe i'm reading it properly it's basically a short squeeze because we we didn't get any bullish vrsi here which is these blue blue um bars right here all of it is these white uh, bars are basically just a ease off of the selling pressure right and that's how we got that reversal 
Now it's close to going into the bullish um, VRSI. This is the main line right here. So we have to push above that. So the selling pressure has dried up, right? So the bullish VRSI has to take place now. So let's see if the buyers are gonna actually jump in here. But anyway, that's my bowling green strategy. Executed some trade management, um, broke it down as best as I could. And I hope that was helpful. Um, again, I'm not a CFA. I'm not a certified financial advisor. I can't give you trading advice. This is just my um, my strategy, and I've back tested it. Um, I have the information on the strategy to execute it. it. It's in relation with how I could trade. It's my personality, right? Everybody has to develop their own trading strategy that aligns with your personal um, your personality. So. Um, this trade, this strategy might not work for you because your tolerance of, of certain price action might not align you with this strategy. So everyone has to find a strategy that works for them, right? So I found something that works for me. I use VWAP and these pivot levels. And the reason I didn't take this this trade on a on a live account is because it's not really a a perfect setup here because. This is Camarilla R5 and this is Camarilla R6. My bowling green strategy isn't really designed around these high pivot levels, Camarilla levels. It's more designed around Camarilla R3 and Camarilla S3 and the central pivot. Right, so basically this is already in an uptrend and it's a retest, right? I usually like to catch my bowling green strategies around, let's see here. So all right, let me show you this here, right? This is more of the bowl and green strategy. We have the top central pivot. That's the central pivot right there. This red line here is the top central pivot at um, 56.91, right? The ETH VWAP, this is minus two, this is minus one, right? So we have the support of a pivot. We have the accumulation between minus two and minus one, right? I can take this breakout here. That's the bowling green strategy right there. Entry, long, and then we go, right? You come back here, you get a retest of, let's see, yeah, minus one, right? And as you saw, I placed that um, buy limit order if it comes back, right? So I would take profit up here already. If we do get a retest and a hold right here, enter again and go long, right? So basically it's a reversal strategy and I need this accumulation and I need this pivot as support, right? So this is where the Bowling Green strategy was really um, really executed in the ETH and the Asian session right so what I did today was a version of it and I wouldn't really do that in a live trading account right because it's not really my setup what happened today in the RTH it worked out but it's not really my setup for the bowling green it's a version of it but not an A plus setup that will be like a B minus setup right here and that's another reason for why I secured that six point profit right there and didn't let it run as you see it's, it's actually pushing up now to um, the developing bowling point of control right here so anyway let me don't, not make this too long alright y'all so it's Malak Shalomo y'all trade safe and stay blessed